Hey guys, it's Ani. Happy, happy Friday, happy weekend. Um, this video is gonna be an amazing video. I was talking to one of my clients recently and she gave me the okay to share this with you guys. And she's gonna send in an actual success story with minor details, like with all the details. She said she, she wants to sit down and write it all out for you guys. But she was like, I want you to share this with all the viewers she's going to be watching her friends are going to be watching too i believe um and just for those of you that are in a similar situation just to keep you motivated keep going see that this feedback is happening with so many people once they they get serious about this about their journey about their thought patterns about all of it so stay tuned you guys and i am so grateful to all of you um, sending in course success stories. Thank you guys for sharing that. I will be sharing your course success story if I have not um, gotten to it yet. Uh, so do not worry about that. If you guys are interested in any of my courses, it's gonna links are going to be in the description box down below. If you have any trouble finding any course or one-on-one -on -one coaching, go ahead and email us at sessions at createyourfuture.co. Okay, but let's get into it, you guys. So I met with my client um, one time, one time, maybe a month ago, a month, probably. I don't know. I don't. I. I don't know the exact date. There's so many, <laughs> but what she was going through was she was having a really difficult time with her specific person. He was showing up as very, very busy. Um, very emotionally unavailable. Uh, the way she would explain her SP was he did not want to hear anything about emotions or expectations. He did not want to hear about like relationship talks, anything like that. He would actually even when he would see her, he would kind of be like, I don't want to talk about like just letting you know, I don't want to talk about anything like that. So if you're here for that, like it's not going to happen. Like he would like pre like condition her for that. And um, it was really hard for her. And I know I've gone through that too, like with SP. So if you guys have gone through that, like this video is for you. If you have identified SP as someone like maybe emotionally unavailable or extremely busy, or they're just that they've been showing up as that version and you keep seeing them as that version, this video is for you. So we worked together. I gave her homework and really like she was just so open to this change. She was so ready for this change because she had tried literally everything and we had talked about like calming that nervous system down and regulating that nervous system because a lot of the times when people show up like that for you especially your specific person or a partner it causes kind of anxiety within you you feel like you you're not able to communicate you feel like you're not able to get anything out it's it almost feels like you're bottled up because you can't express anything to that person but the truth is that you don't have to do that in 3D if you don't want to or if it doesn't feel comfortable or that person is not receiving it from you. The The best part of all this is the, the change is within. All is within. All of it. And she literally has, she was like, Ani, I don't know where to start. Like it was literally like a 30 minute session and the 30 minutes flew by because she was telling me so much success. Like she was like, Ani, we went from that version that I explained to you to he's been flying out more. It's a long distance relationship. He's been flying out. We've been planning the holidays, how we're going to spend it together. This not, this has not happened in four years. Um, they went on a European trip together. He would never have time for that prior. Like he would never even um, bring it up because he would think, oh, if I'm going to bring it up, it's going to create like expectations and it's going to be relationship talks and this and that. But now he's been saying things to her and I'm so happy for you, girl. If you are watching, like it made my day, it made my month, it made my year, like seriously, your success story was everything. And I remember her saying 
on our first session, it was only one session prior to this success, I'm going to be your success story. And I said, yes, you are, girl. And this happens so much with my clients. So there you go. There you go. And I know all the best is yet to come more and more and more and more. And amazing feedback is going to be shared soon. I know it. Um, so sorry, you guys, where was I? Um, he told her, like, I don't think you know how much I love you. He said, he said that, and then he started explaining his love, and he started explaining how beautiful his relationship with her is and how he's never had a relationship like that ever before. And this is the same person, just a different version, that would literally deny her of these emotions. This was the same person that would deny her the trips or his time, or all of that. So the important point I want you guys to know is that it does not matter what you've experienced from whatever it is that you're creating, whether it is a specific person that you're recreating, whether it's someone new, whether you're changing a situation in um, work or finance or friends or family. What has happened so far does not matter. But I feel like, for example, for with me, I felt like it mattered so much when I was manifesting or learning to manifest on my journey. I had a really hard time with that because I would always get caught up in the 3D. And if you guys have ever felt like this, comment down below. If you resonate with me, comment down below. You are so used to um, taking info from out there rather than from in here. Like you're feeding that subconscious mind from out there almost. That's what we're used to doing as reactors. But you got to get used to taking the feedback from within. Like, if you don't get, like, she would explain this too. She would say, Ani, there were times as I was recreating him where he would want, he would kind of show that old behavior. And on the spot, in the moment, in my mind, as hard as it was, she's like, I was viewing my desired version as he was talking in the 3D. And she's like, immediately, I would see, like, he would just be like, you know what, let's forget about that topic. Like, he would literally, like, react to her inner world because everything is all happening at once and happening now. But, 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 I want to say a but. You might hear a lot of people saying everything is happening all at once and now. And, like, you have access to it all now. So everything should be like, you can change it all in a second, right? I'm sure you've heard that. But we have stories of certain things in our life, certain people that internally, you don't feel good changing immediately. You're not used to it. And what happens is it, that may create some resistance, that may create some blocks, that may create some limiting beliefs. You may already have limiting beliefs that you are not addressing, you are just brushing under the rug. So yes, everything is happening all at once now. And a lot of people, like a lot of um, coaches push that. But I want you guys to understand that if you're not getting immediate success we are healing internally like i know i had to i know i had to go through those things because here's what happens like when you're thinking a certain way for such a long time like you have trained your brain your subconscious in a certain way like i literally say it in all my videos and it's very logical and common sense it's a muscle it's a thought pattern right? So you created a pattern, you created a habit. To sometimes change that 
because every time you go to a new pattern or new habit, that old pattern pops up. That's your flight or fight mode. Your ego is trying to keep you safe, trying to keep you like where you've trained it to stay. It's like, no, don't go there. Why do we got to go there? We don't have to go there. That feels so uncomfortable. I don't want to go there. Right? So I say this in almost every of my videos, but it's important. It's important. So please don't get discouraged if you haven't seen success in a day or in 24 hours or in five hours that you're not going to get your success. Okay? Bridge of incidents. Neville talks of, of it. There's a reason we talk about bridge of incidents. There are not every time does it need to happen, but there are scenarios where things take place in order for you to get what you want, like, or maybe the logical reasoning in 3D to happen. You get me? But for example, with her, she was like, every time, and I taught her to do this, every time she would come up in a situation where he was coming at her in 3D, like his old ways, like, don't like, listen, like, don't talk about that. Like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. No emotions, no expect expectations. She would go within and she would just be like, no, you do. Y you're fine with it. You're showing up as my best person right now. You're showing up as the best version because you want to, because if I have the desire within, as within, so without, as above, so below, right? As above, so below. So if you have a desire, it's because that reality is ready for you to experience it. But you have to understand that things out here are not out to hurt you. No, no one's out to get you. Um, it's literally what role have you given to the actor? I've said this in so many of my videos. You're writing the script of your movie. What role have you given this actor? Are they showing up as the old role? Are you tired of the old role? role? Write the script. Change the script. Even in the moment, change the script. If you don't see immediate change, it's okay. Keep, keep going with that persistence. Keep going. And if you guys ever have a hard time I want you to look at this more scientifically. I've mentioned that in most of my videos too. This is not just wishful thinking. This is not just you hoping for a better outcome. Your thoughts are creating. Signals are being played out, pushed out. Frequencies, vibes, atoms vibrating at certain frequencies. They look 3D to you. Okay? It's an illusion, but the illusion looks so real and it's supposed to because how amazing would it feel for your thoughts to literally, for you to be able to touch those thoughts, to experience those thoughts, to hug those thoughts, to win all that money, right? Like it's literally, that's how powerful you are, but we have stories inside of us. Like, for example, when I say look at this more scientifically, keep doing your many manifestations, you guys. Write out little things here and there that you want to see. Play with it. Experience. Practice. I don't want you to just, like, watch videos all day and read books all day, but then not apply. Apply so you learn. Okay? Also... What I wanted to mention is when you are going about recreating any situation, it is normal and it is okay if you feel like it's you're delusional. That may happen. That's happened to me. That's happened to, I know Katie's mentioned that before. Um, a, a lot of clients say, Ani, sometimes I feel like delusional. It does feel good sometimes. Like it does feel good most of the times to picture this situation better internally, which that is creation, by the way. You're not just picturing it just to picture it, just to, you know, sugarcoat anything. You're doing, it's creation. Creation is happening. It's just you may not see it right away and like you may not see it in front of your nose right away. Creation is happening. 
So you're not doing that just to feel good in the moment temporarily. It does give you some good feelings, but you're not being, you're not delusional. Like it's almost like you've been lied to like delusion is more real than what you see in 3d. Your 3d is old news. It's already old thoughts manifested. So the work you do now with the time you have now, this present moment is key. Like this present moment is gold for you. And what you do with it determines what you're gonna experience going forward. In the next second, in the next minute, in the next hour, in the next week, in the next year, in the next 10 years. And when you guys get discouraged about, for example, like persisting, think of it this way. If you weren't manifesting, right? Like, let's say you don't know anything about manifesting, whatever. Let's say you have a goal financially or work related, right? And let's say you want to hit like 10,000 this month or whatever not just in a month, whatever you think is, um, whatever is believable for you, right? Let's say you want to hit a goal. If you don't hit it in the first few tries, for example, when it comes to money, I bring it back to money a lot because whenever I bring it, bring up money to people, it's more of a, oh yeah, I get it. Like it, it's easier. Like it's, it's not like, oh, a human being is harder, but it's all energy, you guys. It's all energy. That same human being is the same vibrating atoms responding to your perspective. That same human being that you're recreating is the same vibrating atoms that is responding to your thoughts, assumptions, beliefs, everything. This computer right here is the simu. It's it ha it's linked to the simulation, and it's like responding. It, the projection, is responding to the computer, okay? So for money, for example, like if you didn't know anything about manifesting or law of assumption, but you wanted to hit a certain goal, right? You, you would probably like stay motivated. You would do whatever you got to do. You would hustle. You would put in the work. You would put in the hours to hit that certain goal, to make a certain amount of money, to purchase whatever it is you need to purchase, correct? So that's persistence. We can apply the same persistence and manifestation. You don't give up when it comes to money if it doesn't happen in a day or two or a week or a month, right? So same thing, you're dealing with those vibrating atoms that are responding to your perception. You see, when we bring it to scientific point of view, it kind of becomes more logical, more common sense. But when you bring it to a more, um, wishful thinking, positive thinking, good vibes, good vibes, like don't, don't think any negative thoughts. When you go there, it kind of feels like more hopeless almost. When in doubt, bring to scientific mode because this is science. Like your, the science behind it is your thoughts, assumptions, your subconscious, this computer that you're walking with everywhere you go, this is responding. There's a link between this and your um, simulation out there, the hologram, the delusion, as a lot of people call. But it's no delusion. It's the real deal. It's the real deal. Okay. If you guys, um, by the way, for the speaking of money, <laughs> as you guys, so many of you have called me the... Um, jackpot queen and i appreciate you guys for that you guys are the best um i want to show you a jackpot i hit recently and if you guys are interested in learning about manifesting more money and abun abundance in your life um courses my courses are all available it's not just money in abundance like manifest your sp self-concept courses getting so much amazing feedback i offer bundle courses it's all going to be in the links in the description boxes down below here's the most recent one <laughs> Two thousand 
2,897. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Ugh, I don't know. 2,800. It's a video. So the fun part about this is when if you guys do go to casino or if you guys like play scratch off tickets or it's not just like that. Even if you're manifesting money through work or however you're manifesting your money, I want you to guys. I want you guys to have fun. Like when I'm there with my family, with my friends. Like when we go, we make a game of it. Like I'm literally like, okay, this is what you're gonna hit, and you're gonna get the bonus. Or I'll be like, you guys watch. Like I'm gonna hit this bonus right now. Or after like two spins, I'm going to hit the bonus or this is what's going to pop up in my bonus. Like we have fun like that. I want you guys to like, remember that you are God and there's no mistakes. There's no making mistakes in anything. And it's, it's all meant to be fun. Sometimes like it doesn't feel fun because you feel like, oh my God, there's pressure to be the best or make so much or all of that. But just always come back to neutral place, like regulate that nervous system, calm that nervous system down and allow, allow. Sometimes you need to surrender to your power. Sometimes I feel like what happens is once you realize you're powerful, you are pushing up against it so much to see the evidence so fast and so hard. Like you create resistance because I used to be like that. That's how I started. Like and I've learned throughout, like, I don't know, 10 years already, like, I've been doing this, not coaching, but just knowing, the knowing, the applying. Um, you learn a lot through experience. And I intend you all win jackpots. I intend you all get amazing success with your specific person. I intend you guys have an amazing weekend. I intend so much amazing beautiful movement happens for you guys and share it all down below i would love to hear it for my course clients and my one-on-one -on -one clients i will be sharing the success the success stories you guys have sent in i'm cat i'm trying to catch up but i hope this video helped you guys um in our community tab i shared recently someone's success from my money and abundance course as well if you guys are interested to read what she manifested she manifested like three or four things in a matter of a month like a trip to um italy i believe for free um 1900 euros a lot of stuff if you guys are interested look at the community post my all my all my videos so many success stories so much information so much um feedback I love you guys. See you in the next video.